Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Civilian's Lens. We are out here in the beautiful wilderness. And, uh, oh shit, the camera. We are out here in the beautiful wilderness. Obviously, you can see behind me we have a massive fucking lake. And, uh, over to my right, we have a massive fucking hill. Now, a couple of people have been commenting lately about how do I get into shooting? How do I shoot in California? And where do you go shooting in California? Well, let me tell you, there is only a handful of places in California that you can safely go and train at without public eye or an RSO watching you down behind your back. It's tough. I understand it's tough to find these places. So let me do it for you, okay? On the screen are gonna be some places that you can go ahead and go to right now and check out. Keep this in mind that you can go shoot publicly in national forests and also BLM land here in California. And that's pretty much the only two places where you can go ahead and do that kind of stuff unless you have someone that has private land. And we can go ahead and talk about that later because there are some restrictions owning land and shooting on your land. Now, first off, if you're looking for national forest land, right? If you live basically in the bumfuck nowhere in California and you just have a national forest just right there, sure. Guess where I am? A national fucking forest. There's a couple of stuff that you have to keep in mind before coming here and um, shooting shit. Targets. Make sure you're shooting steel or make sure you're shooting paper targets um, and make sure you're carrying all that trash out with you, okay? That's a huge important one. We wanna protect our national forests. We don't wanna leave a bunch of shit behind, okay? Especially shell casings, all that kind of stuff. Second is that you can only shoot in a national forest 150 yards away from any kind of public area, uh, road, um, intersection, park, that kind of stuff, all right? that That's just how it is, all right? You can shoot something, it can bounce off a rock, and it can rebound into some kid's throat. And we don't want that, all right? Third thing to make note of when you're visiting a national forest to shoot. Make sure that you have a backdrop that can take the bullet. You don't want to shoot something and it just goes through it, right? So you want to burn. You want to have an, at least a, a natural land here that goes up and you know protects whatever you're shooting behind it you could of course call your local ranger station and just check first if they have any kind of locations that they already know about that they might go ahead and just give you the coordinates to um, a couple of other things right is uh you have to have a campfire safety permit here in california um, it is required wherever you go right now because I don't know if you've heard, but California is still on fucking fire. So just make sure that you have that campfire safety permit at all times with you. Now, there are other places where you can go ahead and publicly shoot without an RSO and freely shoot like blah, 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 blah. And those are called Bureau of Land Management lands. Bureau of Land Management lands. BLM lands. BLM lands. Not Black Lives Matter. BLM. Bureau of Land Management. All right. So what is BLM land? Well, it is managed by the Bureau of Land Management and they have multiple sectors throughout California and pretty much every other state except for Texas, I think. I don't, I don't know why they don't have BLM land out there. But of course you can go online, blm.gov and just enter your state. You can even use a search bar in the right hand corner to type in shooting areas, right? And California maybe, or like whatever location that you're at, you can type that in and go to it. And it'll show you. So, the Bureau of Land Management, right? Basically, this being a couple of different places where you can go target shoot, campfire, anything. All the same rules apply. Whoa. <laughs> All the same rules apply as if you were going to a national forest. So please keep that in mind and make sure that you have at least a bucket or a shovel to put out any kind of fires and a lot of water. And make sure that you have your campfire safety certificate. My hand is shaking, but you know what I'm talking about. So basically all the rules still apply from national forest, but just bring them over to the BLM land. Visit blm.gov to find out where are some local BLM spots that you can freely shoot? Also, call in to some of their headquarters and their um, BLM ranger sites because they will give you the information you need to go ahead and target shoot safely. So, guys, catch you guys on the next one.